If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. Ghosts is a British sitcom broadcast on BBC One from April 2019 to December 2023. It follows a group of ghosts from different historical periods haunting a country house while sharing it with its new living occupants. It is written and performed by the collective group Them There, who had previously worked together on productions including Horrible Histories and Yonderland. Ghosts was the first post-watershed comedy by the ensemble. Although some television critics said that it was suitable for adults and children alike, it was moved to a pre-watershed slot from series 2 onwards. Reviews were positive with critics appreciating its high joke rate, premise and strong ensemble. It was produced by Monumental Pictures, part of ITV Studios, in association with them there, and filmed on location at West Horsley Place in Surrey. A tie-in book, The Button House Archives, was released on the 26th of October, 2023. The storyline revolves around a group of spirits restlessly squabbling in an abandoned country house. To their despair, a young couple inherits the house with hopeful plans to renovate it to make it into a luxury hotel. Initially, the ghosts and the living couple don't get on, but as time passes, the two different sides have to learn to live together, even in death. The main ghosts include Lolly Adofwe as Catherine Kitty Hyam, an excitable, overly chummy, naive Georgian noblewoman. As she is the only main ghost who is not white, some reports have speculated that the character may be inspired by the real-life story of Dido Elizabeth Bell. Matthew Bainton as Thomas Thorne, a melodramatic and easily infatuated Regency period romantic poet. Simon Farnaby as Julian Fawcett MP, the most recently deceased ghost, a disgraced Tory MP. Martha Howe Douglas as Lady Stephanie or Fanny Button, a pompous, overbearing Edwardian lady of the manor and distantly related to Alison. Jim Howick as Patrick or Pat Butcher, a friendly, polite leader of the uniformed youth group resembling Scouts. He died in 1984. Lawrence Rickard as Robin, the oldest ghost, a caveman who lived on the land Button House now occupies. He can manipulate electricity and enjoys playing chess, which he learned from Julian. Despite speaking in broken English, his witnessing of a thousand years of human history has made him very wise and level-headed. Rickard also appears as the head of Sir Humphrey Bone, a Tudor nobleman who accidentally was decapitated in 1575. He struggles with his body, played by Yanni Alexander, dropping his head and failing to pick it up. Then we have Ben Willibald as the captain, a stern closeted homosexual World War II army officer who was stationed at Button House during his service and never saw frontline combat. And Katie Wicks as Mary Gumpy, who left the series in season 4. She is a Stuart era witch trial victim who was burnt at the stake in 1612 and smoulders when stressed. An indeterminate number of ghosts who died during the Black Death and whose bodies were buried in the plague pit live under the cellar. These are also played by all the main cast. According to Matthew Bainton, the idea of the haunted house was one of the first ideas the writers developed after the end of Horrible Histories. However, they were initially uncertain, as he would say, there's no jeopardy that we could write into it, and they created the sitcom Yonderland for Sky One instead. When that series ended, they realised the boredom of eternity and the existential aspects of Ghost's idea was quite unique. He would say, we realised it was a house share sitcom, and as soon as you can stop thinking about those kind of major drama stakes, you can unlock a story that is really domestic and petty. Mike and Alison, the two living characters, were introduced as a foil for the ghosts and to introduce the stakes, the worries about money, life and everything else you need for a story, Matthew would say. Jim Howick noted that 2016 episode of Who Do You Think You Are, where East Enders actor Danny Dyer discovered he was related to Edward III of England, formed the basis of the idea of Alison. We love the idea of Danny Dyer's real lineage, Jim would say. We've mirrored this with our own character Alison, who discovers her aristocratic roots, which she embraces immediately and takes on with relish. Peyton recalled the BBC head of comedy commissioning Shane Allen was looking for a pre-Watershed primetime sitcom for BBC One. During the writing process, the intention was to make an adult show, but one that would appeal to older children, along the lines of Blackadder. The programme was scheduled at 9.30 on the Monday evenings, after the sitcom not going out. Peyton noted that the original audience of Horrible Histories would now be grown up. He would say, hopefully we're making something so they can continue to watch us. Peyton said the Tim Burton film Beetlejuice provided the writers a useful tonal reference, as did the Rocky Horror Show. Jim Howick, addressing its similarity to the 1970s series rent a ghost notices that most of the writers were either slightly too young or too old to have watched it, but the series did make knowing use of many clichés used in horror programs, such as the headless Tudor nobleman. The program is filmed at West Horsley Place in Surrey, England, a large county house unexpectedly inherited by the writer and a former University Challenge presenter, Bamba Gascoigne, in 2014 from his great-aunt, the Duchess of Roxburgh. Under circumstances not dissimilar to those depicted in the series, 
Some scenes were also filmed in London Road and Clandon Road near Guildford, with outside images of the famous Betty's Tea Room in Harrogate, North Yorkshire, rebranded as Sandrine's in the penultimate scene of the final episode in Series 3. Filming of the second series started on the 13th of January 2020. The series was then moved to a pre-watershed slot of 8.30pm. Season 3 would premiere in 2021, with Season 4 premiering in 2022, and the fifth and final season premiering on the 6th of October 2023, and ending with a Christmas special on the 25th of December 2023. An American adaptation of the series was announced on 29th of November 2019 by CBS. Rose McCarver was cast in the pilot, as well as Utkash Ambutka as the main leads. The series would premiere on the 7th of October 2021, and in January 2023 it was renewed for a third series. Some fun trivia notes. Julian, Simon Farnaby's character, was influenced by a number of different politicians, including Tony Blair, David Cameron and Boris Johnson. The nature of his death was likely based upon the former Conservative MP Stephen Milligan, who died of autoerotic asphyxiation in 1994. Also, early concepts of the character were far more risque, and according to producer Simon Farnaby, it came to a point of almost not being appropriate for primetime television, as they included a leather straps, a BDSM mask and a gag ball. When Queen Elizabeth II spotted Simon Farnaby arriving for filming over the Jubilee weekend, she said, ah, I see he's wearing trousers, a reference to Farnaby's character in Ghosts, who always appears without pants, thus proving Queen Elizabeth II was a fan of the show. The show's dollhouse title sequence creates ghostly images by reflecting them off sheets of glass in front or inside the miniature set pieces. An unintended reflection of the glass can be seen when Pat, the scout leader, appears. Invented by stage musicians in the 19th century, this technique is known as Pepper's Ghost. The initial concept of the show was to feature hundreds of ghosts in the house, all played by the same actors. This was scaled back for production reasons. West Horsley Place, where the show is filmed, actually has an interesting history. For example, Guy Fawkes used to be a footman there, which inspired the storyline for Humphrey Bone's plot. Or that King Henry VIII dined there, which comes back as Buttonhouse trivia in Series 5. The series mostly uses the actors' real hair for their characters. Due to the graying hair though of Matthew Baton playing Thomas Thorne, there they had to replace his hair with a wig from Season 4 onwards. Ben Willibond, who plays the captain, had to shave his real moustache due to the production of We Are Not Alone. In Series 5, though, he regrew his moustache. In Series 3, the group of play victims in the boiler room were not included. Most obviously, Series 3 was produced and released during the global pandemic. It was most likely considered inappropriate to feature this subplot. The captain wears the following World War II service ribbons on his uniform. War Medal, 1935-1945, Defence Medal, France and Germany star, and the 1939-1945 star. This implies he saw some service overseas, and also he died some time after the war, which it is later shown that he did not. Now, I first came across the show a few months back, after having read about it and seeing that it had been nominated at the BAFTAs. And I'm not sorry I did. This is an absolutely wonderful show. The characters are multidimensional, nuanced, layered, and just plainly fascinating. There's some great laughs within the show too, but the series can also be somewhat poignant, sad, as you reminisce and look back upon these ghosts' lives. The character arcs and development are fantastic, and the acting performances from all the cast are just absolutely superb and on point. Each character develops perfectly in tune with each other. And if you're looking for a comedy that's introspective, smart, clever, and doesn't rely on crude and crass jokes, then this series is definitely for you. What the series does does well is it makes you invest in each and one of these characters. From Alison and Mike, the only two living main characters, with Alison being the sort of straight man of the piece, and Mike being absolutely hilarious with his clumsiness and eccentric ideas. To each one of the ghosts, who have such unique, defined characters, but yet are so likeable, enduring, and slowly but surely win you over. The episodes which look back upon their various deaths are always absolutely poignant, fascinating, and rather quite sad at times. But the show never lingers on the sadness for too long and brings you straight away back to a, a laughable comedic moment. I found this to be a very down-to-earth, realistic, albeit fantasy series that relies on excellent acting, good writing, and pushes forth a wonderfully original concept. I'm just so sad that the series had to come to an end as it's one of those shows that really just leaves you wanting more. But then again, that's always the point of good entertainment. With its wonderful witty cast, beautiful writing, stunningly developed characters, and clever premise, Ghosts is a must-watch, and will remain forever a series I found enduring, funny, and grew very fond of. Ghosts, season 1 to 5, gets a 9.5 out of 10.